Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Natural Roxy here. So today I have a wig and it's from the Loves Me wig. And this wig is a wig band wig. And I was so happy to purchase this wig because I don't have any. And this was just a natural looking wig. As you can see, it's very tight curled. Um, the color is like a brown color, light brown. And I don't really like that color. This is the band part of the wig, which is nice and soft. Um, this is the Velcro part of the back of the wig, which you can adjust it to whatever you want to the back of the head. This is a full wig cap, and it comes with four combs inside of the wig that you can adjust to your hair with your wig cap on. And I really like that. Very constructed nicely. Um, as well so now we're gonna go into the video and this is the chrome silk um, dye I ordered on Amazon as well as the 40 developer I was using something prior which was the Revlon and I didn't like how the black was coming out it was coming out more silky in this box so I decided to go in with this one because I use this one on my hair and it's a permanent dye and I really like the jet black color this in my natural hair so that's what I went ahead and did so I'm gonna pour in the developer on top of the dye cream and mix it in to make it come to a dark consistency which is supposed to be black consistency and as you're going to see, I'm going to take a brush and just mix in the two together to make sure that it comes together the way that the color needs to come out. When you're pouring in the consistency, evenly pour it in. Um, it has to be not too thick, not too watery consistency to go through the hair. And that's just what I did. Um, everyone has their own preference. Um, this is just something I'm not a professional. I don't do this on a regular basis, coloring hair, dyeing hair, <laughs> and wigs and all of that. This is my first time actually dyeing a wig. I've never had a wig before that I needed to dye or color or anything like that. So, um, you know, forgive me if you think that I may be doing it wrong or right or however, but this is what I did. So I'm just going to use the brush and distribute this through the hair as much as possible. I'm going to get or try to get as much strands as I need to get to make it become a jet black color. Um, I went over this about three or four times. I did finish up my dye, which was okay, but I think I needed to go into the edges a little bit more on the top of the wig and I was trying to be careful because of the wig band. I didn't want it to stain but I noticed that it's really washable so that wasn't too bad but yet still I didn't want the chemical on that wig band um you know sometimes the chemical doesn't come out you'll smell it you know and things of that or maybe it would have you know changed it I'm not sure like I said I'm not a professional so yeah um but as you can see I'm trying to go in at the top edges as close as I can to the hair because it needs to be even so I decided that I'm going to use my hands and try to smoothen everything out um, before I try to sit it down for a couple of hours and I did see a couple of parts that I needed to go over with the brush so that's what I decided to do um, because those parts were still looking a little brown to me um, and like I said, I think I really should go ahead and dye this afterwards. And I think I'll say it in the video a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't as black as I would like it to be. So this is the hair. She is all done and ready to sit for a while. Now, I did wrap it up in this foil and let it sit for a good couple of hours maybe five because I did leave the house and went out and ran some errands which I was kind of scared and worried about and said man should I have done that <laughs> I don't know if it was going to strip it or what it was going to do um, to the hair but I just took my chances on doing so with leaving it for this amount of hours but this is the hair that came out while I was putting in the con you know the color which was okay and so I am back after a couple of hours and as you can see 
the hair did take the dye did take the hair and it is actually jet black guys <laughs> like jet black but when i was washing it out it was still the jet black but not the jet black that i would like it and i'm gonna go ahead and once again <laughs> and dye it one more time because i really like this wig and i want it to be as black as possible and hoping that it doesn't strip it more than you know and losing the texture and the curl pattern to this hair which so far when i was doing this it did not destroy the curl pattern at all which was i was really happy about as you can see but i use um warm to cold water to wash out the color first before i decided that i was going to use the shampoo um to really thoroughly clean the entire wig and i did wash the band i washed everything i washed the entire wig just because um you know it's coming from a manufacturer it did have like a smell to it and so i just wanted to make sure that i washed out the color properly as well as get it as clean as i could of um because i don't i didn't like the smell of the hair when it came it had a funny you know manufacturing smell so i did go ahead and use my um natural hydromatic um moisture hair cleaner and i love this shampoo guys this is the shampoo that i would use when i don't use my protein um line in this um hydromatic so i use this and wash the hair about maybe three to four times or maybe more i really wanted to um wash it thoroughly because when i was washing it out with just water it felt to me a little drying it didn't it wasn't soft at all but the shampoo did make it softer and this shampoo is great for that guys if you just want a, something light moisturized this has this shampoo has a lot of moisture to it and i would highly recommend anyone to try it out if you're even not for your wigs but for your hair um i'm gonna do an upcoming video about that shampoo line as well um i do have a video currently previously before this one about the protein line if you guys want to go ahead and watch that video um i that video is amazing to watch guys i'm telling you so yes i did go ahead and continue thoroughly washing out the hair listen i just wanted it clean and i just didn't want to have the hair on top of my head with the color dripping or it's running on my clothes or <laughs> anything and also that smell that fat that you know that fabrics um what i could say factory smell the way that they made the hair or how they had to make the hair i really wanted it to be um as thorough and clean as possible so that's what i went ahead and did guys So this is the hair after me washing it. Um, as you can see, if the if the, if the camera would focus the way that I would like it to, um, it the texture was just amazing, guys. Just beautiful, beautiful texture, and it didn't damage the texture of me dyeing the hair at all, none whatsoever, which I was really happy about. Um, it felt at this point very soft and smoothing um it did need a little bit of moisture like any other hair of you dyeing your hair and washing it out um i believe that you still need a little bit more moisture so i did go ahead and you know put in a conditioner or leave actually a leave-in conditioner i didn't use a conditioner at this point um i don't know why i didn't i just didn't think about it but i went ahead and used my avocado on um, my uh, leave-in conditioner that has a uh, moisture to it and that actually made it feel even more nice guys i wish you could feel this thing it was just so so smooth and i could run my fingers through this i was surprised really really surprised so guys if you are not subscribed already to this channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as you're watching this video if you like the content and want to see more um, please do thumbs up as well so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with as much <laughs> moisture <laughs> to place into this hair 
Um, yeah, I think I did. A, I think I went overboard, guys. I don't know. You can let me know. <laughs> I didn't watch much videos on how to um, dye a hair or moisturize or wash a hair. I just went ahead and did my own thing because I felt like if I could do this on my hair the way that I like it, I guess I could do it the same way on this wig because that that's just how great the hair was. And after combing out the hair, this is what came out for detanglement. And that wasn't bad at all. Not much of a shed. So that, that's a good quality hair. So I just have this wig um, head. Uh, I think maybe everybody has one. I've had her for a long time. Um, and so I'm just going to place the headband wig on top of her. And I'm going to let her sit and dry for a little bit. But then I'm going to use a diffuser and go ahead and dry it thoroughly. It's because I don't want it to sit too long. But this is the hair, guys. Look at it. It's so beautiful easy to run my fingers through it it i just love the hair it looks like our own texture and this is what i want my hair to be like this thick and nice and just easy to manage so this is the wig she is gorgeous guys like she just looks so natural she just looks like my hair and so she is a wig band and so this is the band in the front and it also has the Velcro at the back where you can Velcro it and put it on your head. It also has a has combs. It has one, two, three, four combs in the capping. And so this is a wig band cap, as I said. And I am just in love with this wig. So the wig is from the Love Me Hair. And it is affordable luxury wig, which yes, it is very affordable. I only paid a hundred and something dollars for it. I'll leave everything in the description box, the link to the hair and everything if you're, if you're interested. Um, so in the box, it did come with these, um, came with these headbands that you can wear over the band of itself. And so I'm, I already opened it because I just had to look through this stuff. It's just. I had to, sorry about the crinkle. I had to open this and look through this stuff because this stuff was just like so intriguing to me. So it came with this kind of a peach one. It came with a pink one. It came with an army one, which is so cute. Sorry, I dropped it. It also came with a multicolor one and it came with a leopard print one, which I'll be using this one in the video because I like that one. <laughs> And it instructions, um, a book telling you basically about Love Me Hair. It tells you how to care for the hair, how to use your hair and your wig. Then like fre frequent questions about the hair. So why My 360 Wigs has tracks. It basically tells you the wig was plugged. So it's a 360 wig. It was used per plug 360 frontal with a bundle to sew in a whole wig. The lace is around from the forehead to the back of the head. It includes um, a front, two sides, and back, but not including the middle. But when you up, but when you put upward on the hair, you can see a little tracks. So that, I guess that's very much to be expected. It says that's why it's called the breathable per plucked, but installing the hair will put you down to the hairs and can't see that you can't see the track. It doesn't affect the usage, which is really good. It can also be put in a bun, a ponytail, and more nice shared pictures on our FB and IG. So basically that's what it tells you the specs about the hair. It also tells you refunds. If you want to return it about the refund, the yada yada. So I really like the fact that they um, incorporated a book to let you know more about, you know, what to do, how to care and things like that. And, you know, stuff about the wig. 
Um, it also came with a wig cap, which is really nice, but I have on one already myself. That's why I look all crazy. Um, it also came with this beautiful color, um, what you can call this uh, metallic bag, purple um, love me hair bag. And in the bag, it came with a headband that you can tie down the front of your hair, like if you gel it down, things like that. And it says love me hair wig, it's, so it's a scarf. It also came with a bobby pins. It also came with an extra band. So like if you wanna sew it into the hair to make the hair tighter and you don't wanna use the strap at the back, this is what this is for, I'm assuming. And also it came with this Love Me clip, which I think is so, so cute. And it also came with tweezers. So I don't think that it's a tweezer for the hair of itself. I just think that they just, you know, gave you a tweezer, which is really, really nice. So that's all that came in the box. Um, it was packaged up really nicely. And in the box, it did come with a note. I don't know if you can see it with the hair was wrapped up. It says, enjoy your hair journey from now on. Helen, the founder of Love Me Hair. That is the lady who's the founder of the company. Thank you, Helen. I really love your wig cap. It's so nice. <laughs> your wig band cap. I just, I, I love it. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I am just going to place this on my head. And before I do, I'm just gonna let you know, I did dye it. Um, I will show you in the video um, before I talk about this. I did dye this here and I feel like, because it came like in a neutral brown type of color. And me, I love dark black, jet black hair. And that's what I needed to incorporate because of my original hair, of course. And so the texture was is just really soft. Um, it does curl easily, though I washed it and everything. It didn't strip when I was um, dyeing the hair at all. So I really liked that. And it was easy to dry, easy to get back the curls in the hair. Um, I did brush it out and then recurled it because I didn't like the tight, tight curls. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this, this wig. wig band here. And I'm just going to put this on. And I'm going to tuck the combs in. I'm gonna tuck the combs in under the cap that I already have on top of my head. And I'm going to take it. And you have to be careful because sometimes the Velcro, well, the Velcro just gets stuck to the hair. And I'm just going to snap it. And you can put it as tight as you like and how comfortable. And this is it, guys. So I'm going to snug it just a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit more tight. Right. This is it. Oh, I'm just loving this hair. Look at this hair, guys. This, this is the hair that I am manifesting in the next couple of years that my hair get as full and fluffy as this. So this is the band. And I'm going to just put this on. over this and so this covers up the band part in which I already did the front of my hair a little bit I'm not that um girl that has like uh you know swoops and baby hairs in her hair I'm just not that kind of person <laughs> really nice and I am happy that she incorporated this type of hair because this just works. It's just easy. It's just easy to get up and just flip it, flop it, tick it, tuck it, and just go, you know? And um, that's just what I love. Like, 
Look at that, guys. Like, you can do so many things that you want to do. And so, like I said, what I did was I just spritz it with my bottle of Sprit bottle water here. And I put in my Shea Moisture Hyper Repair Leave-In Conditioner. This is what I had used. And that was it. And just fluffed it in and just tried to make it as curly the curl that I like, the curl pattern that I would usually would want to have in my hair. Um, so I just recombed it out and redid it over and yeah. And so I said, you know, I like it and I like the color, but I think I feel like I need to dye it a little bit more black. Um, but yeah, guys, you guys can let me know what you think. This is my first wig ever and I'm just loving this thing. Oh my, my, my. I love this wig. It is so... I think it's half up, half down. You can put it up in a ponytail if you want. So I'm going to do that in the next video and I'm going to show you, you know, how to style it in different styles. But right now, I'm just loving this like this. This looks cute. Oh! <laughs> so yes, yeah, so this love me... Um, this love me hair affordable luxury wig i love 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 this wig and i know you guys would love this wig as well just you know if you're a working person that works a lot that needs to be on the go just want to put something on that looks really really natural and you just want to get out i think this would be a good a good look for you guys um, this was 16 inches, I believe. This was a 16 inch. I wanted 18 inch, but they didn't have it. It was out of stock. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a 16 or 14 inch. If I'm not, um, if I'll look back on my order and I'll look, but I really feel like this was the 16 inches. So, and, and the 16 inches is, is not bad at all. It goes up to 24, I believe, or 22. I'm not... Please don't quote me on that, but I'll leave everything in the description box for you guys. So you could go ahead and go to the link and check it out. They also do have other wigs on their site. And I'm thinking of purchasing one more because I've seen one that I really like. And these are just easy to go. Like, they're just easy for me to go. And it doesn't look wiggy. Like, you know, some wigs, they look just so wiggy. I like this. It doesn't look wiggy at all. This is what, this is me. This is, this is me. So anyway... With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you like this wig, guys. Let me know if you would purchase it. Um, I'm going to purchase more because I love this wig. It's just me. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you guys for watching my video so, so, so much. I love you all. I thank you for my all of my new subscribers. I see you. Welcome to my channel. There's nothing but love here and fun and sometimes a little bit too much of talking, but that's your girl, Natural Roxy, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.